Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be using Color My World Dip Liquids for a Dip Mani. I'm going to first get started by cleaning my nail plates off with um, just alcohol. Just getting them all clean, make sure there's no oils or anything on them. And since I have commitment issues, I'll be using Baby Girl Lacquer Glitter Be Gone Peel Off Base Coat. And here are the dip liquids. It's a three step or no, not three steps, three different, you know, get your base, your activator, and your top coat. And then I'll be using this here, um, clear. This, I get this is Sally. She can use whatever. It's just going to be for my top coat here in a little bit. And um, got my little tools out. We've got, you know, scrapey tools, brushes. I got a little paper towel with a um, lint-free wipe on it. Got some nail files and buffers out. But here we go. So I'm only going to show two nails. Um, I, I did record all of them, but it got a little crazy. Um, so I'm going in with a very thin coat of the base liquid. And I'm going to dip down into my powder. And this is a thermal, so it will change colors as we're playing. And I, every time I do anything, I wipe my brush off on that towel over on the side before I put it back in the bottle. Got out my little implement of destruction here. It's kind of like an orange wood stick, but it's made of plastic. And i um, going to get everything ready for the next one. And then I'm going to carry on to the next nail. I'm not going to brush it off or anything just yet. And they talk about doing three stripes of the liquid down the nail and then dip, but I'm not that good yet. And uh, I'm going to dip it in there, tap it off. And I'm definitely not the queen of dips, but I'll keep practicing. I like to take that little tool, though, around the edge to make sure I've gotten everything cleaned up. Now that those have had a chance to dry off some, kind of cure on, on, onto the nail a little bit, I brushed it off with the powder, and I'm going back in with another coat of the color with the base coat. I'm going to put this base coat on, wipe that brush off on that lint-free wipe before I put it back in the bottle, and I dip in. Tap, 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 shake off the excess, and run that little tool around it. You can use whatever you want. The water marble tool, a toothpick, an orange wood stick, whatever works for you. I just re it back in just because I could. And then we're going to carry on to the next nail. And I really did like these. They didn't stink to high heaven. I did not get any dip flu. Um, from using them, and I really like that. Um, we um, we live with someone that they have a very sensitive nose, and trust me, if these were stout, he would have been complaining. But they, they, I mean, they still have a smell, but they're not over overbearing or over you know over stinky. Okay, I've let them dry, and I've gone in with my little fluffy brush again. Kind of whippity whippity whip, get all that cleaned off, all the dust to seize. And we're going back in with the base coat again. I've got to do my clear coat. So I did two colors, two dips with the colored, and now I'm going to go through and just do some clear coating on top so that when I file down, I'm not you know, taking away my color too much. And it's the same process, very thin layer of the base and back in with the dipping. So we're going to do this. I'm just doing one clear coat though. Dip. And you can do the pour over method. I will do that in another video. Um, as just, I don't know, on the game straight up, just, you know, doing it this time. Um, I am cleaning the top with some alcohol before I put this one away. I do this to all the bottles also before I put them away. 
make sure the lid is on nice and tight. Now I did let these sit for a while before I do the scrubby brushing over them. I'm taking that after them. And now we're going to hop in with this activator. And I have sped this part up because I put the activator on all of the nails. I do three rounds. So I brush it and then when I get to the pinky, I start back over at the thumb. And I'm putting three coats of that on there. To make sure they're good and activated. Once that dries down, I'm going to go in with my little nail file here and just kind of straighten these up, shape them up a little bit. Now remember, I put on a peel-off base because, you know, I'm wanting these to like not be on for a week or two because I like to change my nails out too often. But I'm going around that cuticle area with the file. So I'm trying to be a little careful because I do have all the peel-off base coat, but I'm still kind of going at it. getting, And I'm not going to do a perfect job, and I'm, you know, I'm okay with that. And I know that the more I play with these, the better I will get. So we're just going to file it smooth as we can. And I'll be breaking out my e-file here in a moment. If you don't have an e-file, you just do your best with the, you know, with the regular file. And y'all have to excuse cotton. He's under me whining. And I'm a little out of frame here. You can barely see what I'm doing. But I've got on a ball bit. And I'm just going around the cuticle area a little bit with that. Totally out of frame. That's the game. There we go. I'm not super comfortable with it. And now I've got this little teeny cuticle bit. That I'm going around the cuticle area with. And you don't have to change out and use all these different bits. And then I'm breaking out a sanding band and going over all the nails with with that. Over the whole nail. Like I said, if you don't have an e-file or you don't use one, then just go at it with your regular hand file a little bit. And then after that, you're going to want to dust off again. I did that off camera. And then go back in and do another three coats of the activator. I started with my thumb, end with my pinky, and then start back at my thumb. So get these all activated again. And then I'm going to wipe them. It didn't say I had to do this, but I'm wiping them down with a lint-free wipe. Nothing on it, just straight up lint-free wipe. And then I'm going to go in with the top coat. And I'm going to do two coats of this. Do the very thin layers. Try to be as even as I can with them. And I really did like these dip liquids. Um, I've had many others in the past. And when I broke them out, they were, they were all yucky. So I had to order new ones. And I did a little bit of research. And I bought two different sets. So I'll show you the other set on another video. Maybe when I do the pouring method of a dip mani. Um... And hopefully I can do that relatively soon so that I don't lose track of what I've covered and what I haven't covered. But I do like the Color My World dip liquids. Here we go with some. There's the finished manicure. And that's in the cold state. So I've got a little cold bowl and a warm bowl of water here. So it goes kind of pink when it's warm. And then cold when it's blue. Trying to get me a little bit of half and half going on here. There we go. So there's kind of a half and half. And then the next picture's too blue, too pink. <laughs> I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.